I fucked these men with people driving school, doing another lesson here, all right? There's a night driving lesson. I'm gonna pick up my student here at 6, um, 5.45 p.m., all right? So I had to get in dark here. I wanna do a few left and right while we're here on the, going to pick up the student, drive with me. Anything you want me to cover in particular, put it in the comment below, all right? So um, we're gonna do, do a few observation. And yeah, people driving school, we do lesson all top of the all top of the day. Okay, we do lesson as early as 6 a.m. and as late as 11 p.m. Um, in the night. Okay, so as we drive in, always make sure that we pay full attention whenever the car is in is in is in motion. The direction we're going, that's where we need to pay attention to. All right, as you can see here, there's a car on my le left side. I'm gonna signal to my right, mirror right, shoulder right to go around. Okay, signal to my right, mirror right, shoulder right to go around. And I, before I fully accelerate, always make sure that I got a full clearance ahead. I'm already see the car is, um, the light is red. I'm covering my brake. So when I come to a stop, I uh, stop stopping when I lose the first white light and I come to a nice and smooth stop. You do not want to be jerking the car or do abrupt braking while you're driving. It's not going to be beneficial for you, especially at the road test. The examiner may mark you off. Sometimes if you keep doing it um, um, long enough, depending on how many times you're doing it, as you're doing the test, they may um, um, fail you the test. Remember, it's not about driving, it's how they want you to drive to pass the test. The minute you understand that, it changes everything, okay? I'm paying attention here, I'm seeing the light is green, okay? Before fully accelerate, before fully put my foot on the accelerator, I make sure I have a full clearance. Always make, always accelerate heavy when you know for sure you are clear to go because you'll be in so much shock how quick the DMV examiner will hit the brake for not looking at the direction you're supposed to look or somebody popped up in front of your car, then you're gonna be big time shocked. You do not want that. As they come in here, see, come to a straight line up, nice and smooth, pay good attention. Whenever you stop, you do not wanna have your bow, your nose, they said that get your nose dirty above the white line. We do not want that. You wanna keep the car as the minute that you start losing the white car. I'm seeing a lot of activities ahead. I'm paying good attention, okay? Whenever you hit the brake, always look at the inside view mirror to see how the traffic move behind you is is going. Especially when you come up to a traffic light, if you think you may gonna take the light, pay good attention to that so you don't miss leading the traffic behind you. Remember, as we're driving straight, we're leading the traffic behind us. We have to give them the right lead of direction. Otherwise, it can lead to a rear-end accident if although it's not, it's, it's not you who's gonna be at fault, but you're provoking it by giving them the wrong lead. What is the purpose of the yellow line? Slow down and get ready to stop making a left turn here. Signal left, okay? Mirror left, shoulder left, and go all the way over, make the left turn and fall where? In the middle of your lane. You do not wanna make the left turn and fall short where your car is falling on the other side of the street. You have to adjust yourself to come back over then that will consider um, a short left turn for the purpose of the road test is not gonna be in your favor. Okay, as I'm driving here, I'm making sure that I'm keeping it with the speed limit. I'm watching ahead, see what's going on. What I notice ahead also going on, my wood is splitting. I'm gonna go over to my right, mirror right, shoulder right, and bring it over to your right. Why did I come over to my right by myself? Because for the purpose of the road test, student must always be where? On the right side of the wood. If you're don't, doing the wood test, the wood split, and you're still on the left side of the wood, they will get you in trouble, fail, fail to keep right. For the wood test is not acceptable. You have to make sure that as students, you always be where? On the right side of the wood. Failure to do that, gonna lead in trouble, especially for the wood test. In real life, it's okay. You can drive wherever you want, but you must always make sure that you, um, um, you keep safe, while you're driving in the lane that you're driving. You cannot be swerving in and out of lane in the unlikely event, it may not be working in your favor. But as we always do in this channel, most likely for students, we always make sure that we're showing you all the things thereof that I expect of you to do while you're doing your work. That's why we're doing this lesson here, all type of day, all type of night, all type of early morning, so you guys can get familiarize yourself all thing thereof are expecting for you to do. As part of the requirement, you should do some lesson at dawn and at, sun, and at sunrise, so, so you can get familiarize yourself on all type of weather. Here at Pierpol Driving School, we cover all type of driving thereof for you to be comfortable, not only to pass your water, also 
to be safe on the wood okay if you have not yet subscribed to the channel you can do that and hit the notification squad so each time we drop a video you'll be the one to be notified okay if you want anything for me to cover for you in particular put it in the comment below because that's where we have most of our topic video coming from this this turn here is the right turn to the closest right lane mirror right shoulder right and go with your turn and where you do not want to fall you do not want to fall into the park lane okay and i'm coming back nice and smooth and picking up from there all right folks you see those are the the yield and the stop start on my right none of them are mine these are the level of delivery that you wanted to do as you're driving you know covering my brake here the car is rolling up okay you see the car in front of us just ran a red light you do not want to get yourself in that in this type of situation you see going in here okay good pay good attention here folks because you'll be in shock you see i'm driving to i keep sitting up you cannot be laying back nor driving with one hand chilling or no one hand that way is not acceptable both hands are on the steering wheel at 10 and 3 at um, um, um 9 and 3 9 and 3 so you can be well grabs of the steering wheel and david you have to steer you'll be right on the position and also that will uh, that will able you to make left and right turn without taking your hand off of the steering wheel for whatsoever a student asks why can i not turn wherever i want while i'm doing the wood test and so a simple answer to that you can turn wherever you want but as you're doing your wood test there's a way that they want you to turn you have to follow the lead how they want you to do it remember folks i keep saying it i'll say it over again it is not how about driving is how they want you to drive to pass the test if you was only about driving you won't have to do the word test because at somewhere some point at some, uh, at some point you will have to have an, you will have some understanding uh, uh how to drive a car in order for you to go for a word test it's more to it than just driving that's the reason why it's a certain way they want you to drive what i'm gonna do here what i'm gonna do here as i'm coming up there's a yield side on my left. I pay good attention to that. It's not for me, however, but you've always have to take a quick glance for unexpected visitor. You'll be in shock as somebody not to push to shoot and that yield stop. What is your stop? And they do it, and there's nothing we can do. All this could have been prevented by doing what? Forward planning all your moves. You see, as I'm coming here, I'm paying good attention. Forward planning all your moves. Always look ahead. Always expected, unexpected. So we can always, oh, see, look at this guy here. Straight on a green light, and this is how he's flying. All right? Straight driving on a green light, pushing in the car. That's the thing that you always have to pay attention here, okay? Good, good, good. You see how much I'm looking? And I'm going straight here, all right? Anything, guys, put in the comment below. As I'm coming ahead here, I see somebody's closing in on my right side, and the light is coming down. I'm paying attention here to call right within my speed without anything extra because speed limit is 25 miles per hour you can build it above 25 below 30 you don't want anything above 30 then that would be a problem for the test speed bump we slow down to go over the bump okay the kind of you making an illegal left turn because you cannot go out on this left lane here you can come in come to the right you see okay this guy opened the door slowing down go around it okay always expected unexpected folks i'm gonna continue on the straight path the wood coming up to a loop i'm not gonna have to signal it because i'm not turning i'm looping pay attention here there's a yield on my right side pay attention here and coming up to my lane see how much i'm paying attention here all right there you go folks uh, okay good paying attention because trust and believe driving can be intimidating sometimes if you're really not knowing what you're doing especially if you're driving in a city where we get busy a lot, especially in New York City and Brooklyn, New York, all right? Um, if you have anything for me to cover, I keep saying it because that's where I want my, um, that's where all the topic coming from. You know the best what you need. You know the best that what you want us to do for you. If you have not yet subscribed, you can do that also. If you know any families and friends that can benefit from this video, please share it with them. Also, show a person how to get a license in New York City. That's a good thing you can do for them because one way or another, the license can enhance their life okay so we got a um, traffic light here that's got a 
of Shifani because this angling is an offside road that have three lights here at one intersection. You have to pay good attention because if you don't know how to approach after you clear the light, which direction to go, that can lead you into an accident of which we don't need because we never know how an outcome of an accident can be, all right? Both ends have the steering wheel all the time. Never try to show the examiner that you know more than what asking for you to do. They don't ask you to do something, don't do it. Continue to drive, folks. They don't ask you to do something, don't do it. I'm gonna do a merge here, right? So normally I should have continued driving to my right side, but I'm gonna wanna make a left turn on the head coming. I'm gonna signal my left, new one left, shoulder left, and bring it over to the left, all right? Because up the block, I'm gonna do a left turn. I, I'm not, I'm not supposed to, to make that left turn from the right lane. That will be big one. That will be also stand up for accident, you see? Is an open left lane here, me one left, shoulder left, and bring it in on the turn lane. You cannot make the turn on the outer lane, that will be wrong, okay? This is a heavy intersection left turn here. Let's do this turn together, all right? We have a yellow signal light, meaning what? Proceed with caution when it's safe to make the turn. A yellow flashing our light, okay? You proceed with caution when it's safe and clear to make the turn. Otherwise, you be getting in trouble. You cannot just pull all time. You see, they pull it up now. It's a yellow, it turned to a red. We cannot take the turn. I missed my turn. Some people would have continued. Then that would have been big time wrong because you cannot continue on that turn. You see how many traffic we have here? We got about seven traffic direction here. One coming from Target, three on King's Highway, and also left one here on its 52nd. We got seven traffic direction going here. If you're not aware of what you're doing, you can get in trouble. And also, we're making a left turn where we were supposed to be, to the closest left lane, which is kind of a little bit tight. You see, I got this street here. You cannot see the street here. I wish you could have seen it. You see the light turn green? Not for us. The traffic coming in the other direction. These are the level of things that you have to pay attention with when you're driving and how many moving variable for you to do. But as you're building up skills, it will come a second nature. Nevertheless, you have to get your foundation right so you will be able to deliver without putting you out there not knowing what we're doing. That's when PFL Driving School will come in. Not only after we show you how to drive to pass your road test, also to be safe when you see this is our green light here. We're, we're making the turn. Check me one left, shoulder left. Okay, we're gonna fall where? To the closest left lane. You see how much I'm checking? To the closest left lane. And then what? Signal to the right, me all right, shoulder right. Move over to your right when it's slow. It's a quick movement, okay? Continue to drive, okay? You make the left turn, you go to your closest left lane, and when it's clear, you do a mirror check and shoulder check, move over to your right side. As student, must always be on the right side of the road, but if you're driving your own car, you can turn and continue to, even you're driving your own car, you by yourself, you must make the turn to the closest lane you turn into and continue to drive on that lane. You do not have to go over if you don't want to, but if you make the turn onto the wrong lane, and you go get into an accident and that's gonna be not in your favor because when you make the turn you turn it into the wrong lane it's never been an issue unless something uh, uh, something happened then they take it to court that's when it's gonna be an issue so to avoid all that what is there for you to do if you know the right thing to do do the right thing right from the job do not let it to be an issue that's when you'll be like oh i wish i knew i wish i had or uh, 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 oh, i wish i knew no could have been avoided avoided by doing what we're supposed to do right from the jump. See the car coming out here? We let them clear. We let them clear. We're not going to force it and try to squeeze it. No, we don't need that. All right? And I'm paying attention with both of my side. My, check, check up a little bit. I'm bringing attention with both, both of my side to see how it's going on. Okay? This is a, um evening driving lesson, 6.45. I'm still within time. See how much I'm paying attention here, keeping my middle lane. At the light coming up, we're making a right turn. I'm already in the right lane anyway. And I'm gonna, after I pass this corner here, I'm gonna signal to my right, because I have to be on the right lane. Mirror right, shoulder right, and bring it in. The car in front of you is making a right turn here. Okay, giving them his room. Okay, what are these guys doing here? Where are you going? I wanna go straight to make my right turn. Thank you. See, I have to go left now, do another change, then come back to my right. See what I'm talking about, folks? Always expected, 
unexpected. You guys see I'm making it right turn. That person see I'm making it right turn. Keep coming. All right. Those are the things we always have to be on the lookout for. All right. Now, before I make my right turn here, I will verify me well right, shoulder right, and go through with that turn. fall right where in the middle of the turn one way street this guy going in the opposite direction always expecting unexpected okay seeing the light turn yellow start covering my brake to lessen the speed when I get there it's completely red right here Any question, guys, anything you want me to cover, put it in the comment below. Like, share, and subscribe, and share this video to anybody that you know that may benefit from that, um, from that video. Just been with people driving school. Anything you want me to do, put it in the comment below. Until then, keep practicing. Take care now, folks. Bye-bye.